Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a mini nail room tour. Um, I asked on my social media if you guys would want to see, so here it is. So please bear in mind that my nail room is not finished and I do want to change the wallpaper and I still need to buy some more bits and bobs um, just for organisation and stuff. But this is what it's starting to look like so far. So let's get started. So this is what the nail room looks like as you're walking in. Um, it is quite a bright room, even though it's quite small. Um, I've got some little bits hanging on the door, but they are going because I want to paint this door white because I want to do all the doors in the house white. Just think it looks more fresh. Then on the wall here, I've got my clock from Next. I think that was about 30, 35 pound and just some little bits and bobs on the shelves. Then on the next wall, I've got my certificate and a few pictures. So this picture is a picture that Liz Guild had made for me when I came second place in one of the competitions that she did. And this is a beautiful picture that my sister handmade for me. I will leave the link in the description box to her Instagram. She can literally make anything. It's all done with driftwood and pebbles from our local beaches. Amazing, honestly, and such good prices as well. And then this is just a little quote from a client of mine who is also a friend. So on top of my desk, I have my LED sun nail lamp and a tray, beautiful tray from Ikea, which was £3. And that's just got monomer, acetone, um, alcohol rub, nail glue and bits and bobs like that. Stuff that I reach to the most. Then I have also got my light this was a bargain light from little middle aisle this was about 10 pound but i did get this two years ago so i can't actually leave a link for that i'm afraid but i will try and find one on amazon and i've also got my um cushion there that is from next that was about 16 pounds then here this is an idea that i got from the amazing isabel may's nails so this is actually a jewelry stand from h&m which was $12.99, and then the gold shower curtain hooks as well. Fab idea. I think it looks so stylish, and it's just, it looks so much prettier than the big silver rings that you get with these um, swatch sticks. And on here, I've just got, this still needs to be organised, all of these, um, and I've still got lots more swatches to do. So this is just nail foils that I've got from Glitterati Nails and Diamond Glitters. And then my Madame Glam gel polishes. My daughter wrote that one. I think that's so cute. Bless her. She wanted to help. And then this one is other brands of nail polishes that I need to sort out. And then this is something that my daughter made me. And this just lives up there as well. Then on my desk, I've got a fan. My mum got me this from eBay for my birthday. It isn't fantastic. It does suck up the really fine dust really well but the bigger chunks it doesn't but it does work for that so for now it is working for me i also have a glass kitchen um tray i don't know what this would be called um and i got this from pound stretcher i think it's about three pound fifty and this i do put kitchen roll over this as well this is just to try and save my work surface i am ordering a glass top for on top of this also just got a cheap little bin there that was one ninety nine from B&M and then a ring light <laughs> with my thumb. Um, I brought that off a Lash Tech friend but it is the newer LED ring light from Amazon. I think they retail at about £70. I'll try and find that for you. So that's just what my desk looks like. Then moving on to the drawers. This drawer is my most satisfying drawer. I love this drawer. So in here I have got my Madame Glam gel polishes and some of the nail lounge collection as well. Um, I've got their metallic range, the Madame Glam Metallics, and then this little row here is the nail lounge collection. They are brilliant, honestly. If you haven't checked these out, you need to. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. This desk is fantastic as well. Like the space in the drawers is insane and they go all the way back. Like this is the Alex slash, I think it's linen, desk from Ikea so I'll link that in the description box because I'm not actually so sure how you say it 
but it is fantastic. In total, it was about £125 for the two chest of drawers and the sur work surface and also two legs as well because I wasn't sure if I wanted both sets of drawers. Then, second drawer down here, I've just got some of my acrylic stuff. Um, I've got glitter bells, glitterati, uh, not glitterati, sorry, glamming glitz, nail nails, some CJP. And then in this little tray here, I've just got some more nail nails and more CJP coloured acrylics. Um, I just keep them in this little pot just because I don't want them flying about everywhere. I don't know if you can see the little rubber um, inside that drawer, the little rubber base of the drawer. So that comes on a roll for £3 from Ikea. It's fantastic. It just stops all my products rolling around. But I only brought one roll because I thought that would be enough, but it only did the one set of drawers. Then this next drawer down, I've just got some tips. Um, as some of you may know, I am not using tips anymore though, but they are there just in case. I am trying to sculpt as much as I can. I also have my Melody Susie rechargeable nail drill and drill bits in that drawer as well. Then this next drawer, I've got my gel products. So this is my Extend system. If you haven't tried this, you need to. It's fantastic. I've also got some poly gels, um, some Madame Glam, some Blue Sky, Model Ones and some Rossi. And I've also got there some NSI Builder Gels and some more of the Blue Sky Poly Gel. And then here, I'm just keeping my... Um, solid painting gels there and the glitter arty nail spider gel then i received these in the post the other day and i was reading them and realized that they say galaxy gat eye gel i'm presuming that's mean meant to be cat eye gel but it says gat eye but hey ho they are beautiful so so nice they are stunning then I've just got some nail wipes in there as well and some more jewel forms. Then at the back in a little tray, I've got some extra gel polishes. These all need sorting out. Um, I don't use most of them, but some of them I do like to use. Then moving over to the right side of the drawers. This is my sort of admin drawer. So in here, I've just got my chargers. Um, and some paracetamol because I always get headaches. I think it's from the fumes, I'm not sure. And then this diary, this diary is fab. So this was a pound from Poundland. Um, and I just think it's absolutely perfect for what I need it for. So Monday to Friday, you have got um, hourly time slots to put in. If ever I'm not, so I work an hour and a half for each client, um, unless I need to book out more time. But if I do, I just write in the time, it's easy. And then Saturday and Sundays, there isn't a time, but I don't work on the weekends anyway. Then in this drawer, I've just got my iPad, just some scissors, some whiteboard pens for my whiteboard, my cute little pen that my kids got me on Mother's Day, so cute. Um, a notepad for my YouTube tutorial notes and stuff, what I want to film, and then also my bookkeeping book. And also at the back there, there are some extra glass coasters, just in case, you know, we're living the dream and having a party in my nail room. <laughs> in this drawer, I've just got a few odd bits of tools and brushes, some nail art brushes. I had a big clear out the other day and got rid of like all the old tacky stuff that is just wrecked because I'm desperate to order the new Glitterati Nails nail art brushes. They have just been released and they look amazing. Then at the side here, this is all of my different base coats and top coats. So in the next drawer down, I keep all of my pigments and little pots of glitter um, and just some nail art stuff. So this little tub here has got my most of my glitterati nails pigments, some Born Pretty, some Indigo, um, it also has a couple of pots of the Diamond Glitters glitters and just a couple of the Glitterati glitters as well. So for now, that is where that is living. And then this little basket has got in um, my shape. So like my dot, 
hearts, diamonds, um, just all different little bits and bobs that I'll encapsulate into the nail. These are the Glitterati Nails Maple Leaves, which are perfect for this time of year. They are beautiful, like absolutely stunning. So that's all living in there. And then this back basket here has got in some netting and other bits and bobs that I encapsulate, um, some fibres. And then just at the side there is the spare glitters that um, are just in little bags. Then this drawer here, in the basket here, I've got all my Swarovski crystals, um, these little nail things that my client um, brought in with her. And then I've also got my Glitterati Nails glitter folder. So I really wanted somewhere where my clients could just look through all of the glitters and see them clearly rather than having to unscrew pots and spill glitter everywhere. So this really works for me. And then when I'm using the glitter, I'll just tip a little bit out onto a little tray that I have and use it that way. These are the new Glitterati Nails um, Galaxy Shards. They are so pretty. The camera's not really doing these justice, but honestly, they are so beautiful. Also in that drawer, I keep this little photo album. So I got this from eBay and I just typed in Instax photo album. Um, this was about £3, £3.50. I will try and leave a link in the description. And in here, I'm just keeping my um, nail foils because I wanted them to be in something where I could just give to my clients so that they could look through um, and they were easy to see as well rather than being in bags and just being a mess. So I'm really, really happy with this. It's a really cheap way of storing them. Look how pretty they are. I love ho anything holographic. Like, I'm all over it. Love it. So those two just live in that drawer for now. As I said, please don't forget that this isn't finished. I still need to organise more and I've got things on order. So... But I just wanted to show you so far what is going on. Then this bottom drawer is all PR stuff that I have been sent. Some of it I've already done videos on. Um, some of it I've just received. So yesterday I received the model ones. Um, some more of their painting gel, which is the colourful box on the right hand corner. And then I also received this, which is their dip system. And I love the colours in this. So I am looking forward to trying this out as well. So for now, that is just all living there. Um, I do want to get another chest of drawers to put um, in the far corner of my nail room to put all this in. Then also in that drawer, I've just got some of my filming stuff. Um, so these little tips are fab. I got this idea from Isabel May's Nails as well. She's amazing. You have to go and check her out. So these are full nails and they are flat at the back. Um, they're not sort of like a normal nail tip. And this is to do nail art on. So I just stick these onto my little um, nail art holder. I don't know what you'd call it. And work on them. They are fab. They were from Amazon, about £3 again. So for now, that is where all that is living. Then to the right behind me, I've got a little cube shelf and this has just got some odd little bits of glitter. I want to get rid of this as well. Um, and then just some little nail art stuff that I did before. This is a autism awareness butterfly that I did. Um, and it's just really cute. It's got the Glitterati Nails puzzle pieces in there for the autumn. Autumn? autism awareness then up on this little shelf I've got my pigments because I just don't know where to put them because every time I move them I just make an absolute mess so they're just staying there for now because I can't deal got a little candle and then I've got my ASP quick dip system and then another little candle here which Emilia brought me on my birthday then I've just got a little love heart hanging and that is it really guys. I've not shown you what's in the cupboards just because that's a mess and it's mainly makeup and hair stuff because um, I do get ready in this room as well. But yeah, that is it guys. Very, very quick one. But I do 
I will be doing a updated one very, very soon. Also quickly as well, before I forget, my light shade was from Next as well. And I think that was £45. But I'll link everything in the description box below. If you like my little nail room and you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next video.